Hello everyone, hi hi hi, my name is Laura Vilika Yembe. Welcome to I'm a Promise YouTube channel. Welcome guys. I just want to thank you once more for your support on the previous one. Thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, thank you for the new subscribers. You are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. I really appreciate you guys. All right, before I forget once more, guys, I want to let you know that I, um, the women of the Bible series that I promised are going to be, uh, the first video will be uploaded on Thursday, latest Thursday, but it has to be before the end of the week, before the weekend. All right, on that note, I'm quickly going to jump onto today's video. As you can see from the title of the video, I am going to talk about myself. I'm going to talk about character. Characters. I want to encourage my brother, my sister, my friend, whoever you are. I want to encourage you out there to work on yourself. Work on your character. Work on being the best version of yourself. The reason why I decided to talk about that is because um, by nature I'm a very observing observant person okay i could talk I, I love to when i'm around people i like to talk i like to make jokes here and there but in the meantime i'm very observant but at the same time i mean i'm very observant so i'm able to see small little things small little details here and there that really makes me think makes me wonder it makes me ponder so um I wanted to think I wanted to emphasize on the issue of working on our characters. I feel like many of us in today's generation, in as much as technology has made it um has made it easier on us or we have um platforms where we can share our feelings, we can share our thoughts, there are still most of us that do not want to work on our characters, we do not want to work on ourselves, we do not want to work on um, bettering ourselves. What do I mean by that? I might, I might have been a person that is very unforgiving, for example, that is very unforgiving because of the things that have happened to me in the past, because of the way that people have wronged me. I feel like I have every right to walk in unforgiveness because this person has wronged me. I have every right to feel the way that I feel because X, Y, Z, and I'm walking around, I'm harboring those things in my heart and I'm treating people anyhow because anyhow because of the way that um anyhow because of the way that um because of the way that I feel so it's like we have we have become extra emotional beings and another thing I felt as if I feel as if we are carrying so many things in our hearts from our past that are determining that are busy um leading us or into many mistakes for example um, if you feel like you are a very um, defensive person, okay, this is something that I have to confess. It's something that I also have to, I had to work through. I'm still working through where I feel like I need to defend myself because of X, Y, Z, because I felt as if, okay, if I don't defend myself here, this is going to happen to me. And this is as a result of being, um, of certain things that happened in my childhood that I felt like, okay, I need to defend myself when the need arises. But somehow, in some cases, this thing has not, um, it has not um, contributed to my life positively. So as you can see, guys, I've mentioned the word of unforgiveness. I've me I'm just mentioning the word of being very aggressive or being very defensive, which are the things that I personally had to deal with and i'm still dealing with in order for me to be better myself in order for me to to have to, to to kind of be on the right track um yes to be on the right track and i feel as if as a human being we need to work on our character if you have a character that many people are complaining about it's not the first time that you lost a friend because they said that you um they said that you you speak anyhow any in any, anyhow if that's it's not your first time that you lose a friend or you lose or a family member no longer wants to be close to you because of that it's not it's not for you to sit and say yes huh, if they don't want to be in my life okay it's fine they can go no guys let us strive to better ourselves you can search search deep within yourself and see okay this thing that people are complaining about am i like you need to think about this could i also be the problem 
because it's one thing to always think or blame others for hurting us like i said earlier it's a lot of um a lot of times or we we seldom relate to others based on our past experiences if i feel like many people are complaining that for example they say gloria is um gloria is arrogant for example many people complain that i'm arrogant instead of saying okay this is my character it's either you like it or not no i have to sit down and say okay first of all as a christian am i mirroring am i showing or am i portraying the kind of character that god wants me to portray am i doing what god wants me to do all right so many people are complaining that i'm arrogant could there be some truth into it could i be um, is, there, is, is, is there a way or is there something that I'm doing that is making, feel, making them feel as if I could be arrogant or is there something that I'm doing that is making people feel as if I'm greedy? You know, sometimes it's not only what others are doing to us. Sometimes what they are, it's like they are responding to the kind of vibe that we're giving them. So what kind of a vibe are you giving people around you? Are you giving people a good vibe? Or when someone comes and advises you and say gloria what you are doing is wrong you should try at least and do abc how do i respond to it how do you respond to it to it when someone comes to you and say what you are doing is wrong do you positively do you try and see if there's light into it or do you just shut you just shut them down like i'm not interested i'm going to do whatever i want to do or do you take time to process what people are saying because i feel as if in as much as we grow in as much as we we we, we yes in as much as we grow and we develop and we become these independent human beings we also tend to do things that are we also tend to to do things anyhow any we 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 we, we, we act anyhow and say this is me it's either you take me or leave me no let us work on ourselves guys <laughs> so guys it's very very important if you are dealing with uh maybe you are struggling with the issue of unforgiveness which is something that i also had i also had to, to deal with for example in my own character um the things that happened i found sometimes you're walking on forgiveness without knowing it like for myself i was finding myself i found myself in a, in a situation where um i found myself in a situation where i would count the wrong that people did, did to me in the past and I'll, I'll be like this is the reason why i'm acting this way and i will sit there and i will give that as a justification or as a reason for me being that rude or being that um like I would be in my own shell and use that as an example. And it's with prayer, it's with time that I got to understand by spending my time in the word of God, spending my time with other Christians, that I got to understand that I was harboring unforgiveness in my heart. I was harboring um, offense in my heart. And the Bible encourages us in the book of, um, I think it's Luke chapter 6 verse 37, where it says, we do not judge, we, do not, we should not judge, we should not condemn, but we should also be forgiving unto others. So if unforgiveness, or if you feel like deep down, it's your past that is, that is leading you to act a certain way, or um, reacting to people, or certain situations a certain way, take time. And go on your knees go back to the drawing board and ask god to grant you the grace to be able to forgive others could you be dealing with the issue of jealousy what are you maybe you you can't handle to see someone else with something so whatever guys whatever you could be dealing with it could be jealousy it could be anger like oh goodness speak about the spirit of anger or the issue of anger i had anger management problems I'm telling you serious ones. So it is something that um, I, I've, I'm striving to work through and I've seen that I've made a very big, big, big breakthrough from where I started to where I am now. I want to glorify the Lord for that, guys. So yes, let us work on our characters. What are you struggling with? I've repeated the sentence so many times because, guys, I feel like we need to come through. We need to try and better ourselves. We cannot continue to live in unforgiveness. We cannot continue to live in 
in and you cannot continue to live any anyhow with people and say that people should accept just the way that you are you are rude to others but people should accept just the way you are if you want to be a better individual if you want to be a better person in society you want to relate with others you should be able to also know how to change uh, you should be able to know how to change a few things about yourself in order for you to um in order for you in order for people to be able to co cohabitate with you for people to um to relate well 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 with you and sometimes what are people saying about you when you're not around you should always think about it am i being the best version of myself when i'm around people am i doing exactly what um is expected of me am i portraying the love of christ i am I, how am i carrying myself am i showing arrogance am i showing anger or in what am i doing so yes guys i tried not to make this video very long but here am i <laughs> so yes um that is all i wanted to do today i'm not sure if my video is a little bit all over the place but please let me know in the comment section guys how do you feel about this do you think it's important for us to work on our self because we we like to work on our self image but are we working on the inside are you working on the inside and let us share guys let us share each other's experiences in the comment section what are you working through what have you worked through what have you overcome i had to deal with the issue of of of, of anger and i would say 80 percent has been worked out sometimes people think it's a i've become very weak but no it's the lord that has been working through me so what has the lord done through you and what have you achieved in the lord <laughs> okay guys thank you so much i hope to see you on the next video and yes don't forget to click like subscribe share and comment much love to you bye bye